What is happening guys, Gary Yaman here, back at it again with a new video. Hope you're doing well, hope you're safe and happy. So in this video, it is all about the Zion Smooth 5S AI gimbal that they sent to me to make a video about it. No money exchange whatsoever, so I can just clearly say whatever I want and be very honest with this little device. So this gimbal, if you don't know what a gimbal is, it just it is a device where you put your smartphone in or your camera in it and then it will stabilize your footage, your filming footage that is, so it doesn't have any of those shaky and bumpy feeling when you are walking with it with your phone, for instance, in your hand, for instance. So it it it, it removes all the it removes all the shakiness of your footage, basically, right? And this gimbal this device, it can shoot in vertical mode and also shoot in horizontal mode. So those things are really nice to have. But this one is also a little bit different. It has built-in lights, which are really convenient, especially in lower light conditions. You have light already built in. The battery life of this is really good as well. It can last for up over two hours and you'll be very happy with it. And I don't think anybody will shoot for two hours long. So I, I've been using this uh, gimbal with my uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is really nice and really easy to work with. The motors of this gimbal are very strong and the controls are very intuitive, very easy. You don't really need to re read the manual, but I would say check out the manual, also a lot of uh, clips that they have so that you know how to use it properly. And the feeling of the gimbal itself, it feels very sturdy, feels very, very luxurious, if that makes any sense. It feels very premium. I think that's a better word for it. Very solid, um, no cheap feeling at all. And this little thingy here is the AI feature so that you can use the AI feature such as such as a gesture control. So if you do some kind of gesture, I think um, a peace sign was uh, recorded directly. If you are, for instance, a solo content creator and just you just put it somewhere, right? After, let's say you are a uh, food reviewer, right? You are walking in a restaurant, you're filming with this device, you're walking around with it, showing things, very stabilized footage, and then you want to film yourself while you're eating like a certain dish, right? You want to review it. And the nice feature about this, having this AI feature, you can just put it somewhere, do the little peace sign, it will record you, but not only that, it will track your face as well. So you will be always in focus and how it tracks is also really nice. As you see here, this little example, it just follows you around real quick and very reliable. That is something that I really like and I wish I had this on my normal camera. If I just like move around a little bit, it will follow, it, it will follow my face. In this case, it doesn't follow at all. So I have to be straight in the shot here just to have a clear picture, uh, just to be in focus, sorry. So that is something that I really like. So if you are a solo content creator, you're outside, you want to have stabilized footage, you're walking around in the city, do little things, and then you want to capture yourself as well, you will be in focus all the time, no issues whatsoever. Are there any downsides of this gimbal? Yes, of course. It also means that instead of using just your phone, in my case, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is already quite a large phone, you have to bring with you a extra device. So that is something that you have to keep in mind and also a device that you need to charge and everything. That's a little bit of the downside of this gimbal is that it is an extra device that you need to carry around with. Overall benefit of, is of course, you are having stabilized footage and it looks really cool as well and it's very intuitive to use and with the AI feature you will be always in focus as well. How to use it is by using an, a, a certain app. There are two apps that you can download. One is very user friendly and the other ones is for uh, professionals but then you can also use all type of different settings. It really depends on the person. In my case I just want to use it quick and easy so that's why I use the, uh, the between brackets the basic app and that works perfectly fine with all the settings that I personally need to capture nice footage, to capture things that I really find important. All right, with that being said, guys, I think that's about it. Um, thank you again for watching. Subscribe to the channel if not already. Thank you, Zion, for sending this. If you want to see more information, check out the link down in the description. And if you want to order it, make sure to use the discount code so that you can get, I think, at least 10% off of the total price which is absolutely cool right that's it thank you see you in the next one good luck bye